maso. To come and take us forward. Njagalo kuwe ngalo pakarwana atuka wano. I want you to clap till he arrives here. Eh, hey, kubira kone mama mungalo. Clap mama in hand. Hallelujah. Amen. Programa mukubire kumungala koro muri mukama. Hallelujah. Amen. Bwana asifirwe. Praise the name of the Lord. Oruswairo rwe Kenya wono ne rubalema. Are you failing to communicate? Bwana asifirwe. Amen. Njagala nango kuddamo kubaniriza. I want to welcome you once again. Kwagala kwebaza rubawereza. I want to appreciate the ministers of God. Abali eyo banga musobola okulaba ne bilala. Uh, for those who can uh, be able to see uh, <inaudible> very well. my place of but rest uh, ministries. And they have given you portion, portions of scripture. And even other ministries like we've had. They have been introducing unto us in the family tree. In that family tree over Kale Orukalala. We want to bless the Lord because God visits for a purpose. As the minister was beginning, he spoke this one and said that you and I we have been blessed and given a very wonderful uh, opportunity responsibility. And talking about the, the word foundation or foundations. Probably, maybe we never had an opportunity <laughs> to know or to hear of such a word. And so it brings our way the Bible the Bible says, Hosea 4, 6, that my people perish. Oruachi. My people perish. My people perish. Because of lack of knowledge. Because of lack of knowledge. Friends, in Butalegia. In Bunyoli. In Bunyoli. The minister of God uh, was asking, Sister, no, help us. What was the question? You answered one of the questions. He asked, What do we see in our, in our families? And what was your response? You say that some of families have a number of, of, of mummies, ma number of mothers. What it brings that? What causes some families have a number of mummies or mothers? It's because due, of due to a wrong foundation. <laughs> You and I, as we keep moving on with this conference, we've been given as a kind of a homework. Apostle Paul was speaking to his spiritual son, Timothy, and said these words that have, that have entrusted Get faithful men that you can entrust. No and you teach them. No bagamba. And, and you tell them. And and so they will, they will also get the opportunity. Responsibility to teach others also. So I want to tell someone who has come in this conference. I don't want to Don't take it as an ordinary conference. You there's a conference in Mbale and then you, you go there. Oh, there is one in Kenya. Let us let's go. There is one in Mbalara City. Let's go. But when we come back. We don't bear fruit. 
There is no sign, no, not even a symptom. But if there is someone who asks you outside, there, you testify and say, but the other woman, the other, oh, man spoke, the other one is an international speaker. What did they speak anyway? How has what you have heard influenced all so other people's lives? So, I life? just want to encourage each one of us. This foundation, one of the things that can help you, if it is a right foundation, I begin from this place as I go to heaven. <laughs> But if the foundation is a wrong Bible foundation, the Bible says, uh, Apostle Paul says that I have laid a foundation and let others build their own. And then he begins to uh, speak about uh, the materials that were being used to make the foundation. And even others, they, 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 use, they use rubbish right to build it. Others use wood. Friends, this is a divine visitation. Somebody give God a mighty hand of praise. A divine visitation. The Bible says that let's not be only hearers of the word, but rather doers. And the people who will apply, activate the word of God in, in their lives. We've indeed heard. We've moved places here and there. You may think someone has gone to Nairobi and is going to come with a, a word that, <laughs> a word that is, uh, is, is going to help them okay. so that you can become stable in okay. the Lord okay. and okay. Come, come back unto the roots of the word of God. The <laughs> but in this they tell us fables, stories. Uh, uh, the ministers of God, I, I want to uh, appreciate <laughs> you because the foundation, <laughs> the foundation of each and everything that you can think about <laughs> is the most important. <laughs> Amen. Your salvation, my salvation, if it's not founded on the right, it's not on the right full foundation. Listen. You are not going to have a meaningful life. You are not going to have a meaningful life. You will not inspire anybody. You will not inspire anyone. You say that woman indeed is God saved. Yes, that guy is born again. But when someone looks, the foundation and the bearing of fruits cannot make someone to admire. You know, yeah. That one will not bring, I mean, according to the way, how weak my foundation, your foundation is. It will not give anyone to admire salvation. Instead, the statement will be, if that person got saved, Basing on the fruit that they see you bear, they will see if that person is a true born again. Uh, we are equal. In other words, I too am born again. Because there is no difference between you and other people. They don't see something inspiring. They don't see something amazing. They don't see any, any, any dynamic transformation of God in If they, that person got saved, I am saved too. But blessed 
be the name of the Lord because of the word that you have kept hearing. The foundations. Our families, our marriages. Yeah, which foundation are they on? Somebody say amen. Uh, I want us to reflect on this scripture. And the book of uh, Exodus. Exodus chapter number 20. Exodus 20. Uh, we want to begin from the, the very first verse. The very first verse. Thank you very much. You know that she has read. I just wanted to look at the foundation of our forefathers, our patriarchs. Whether in our Christian life or in family life or marriage life. You know it why? You know it, the reason why? Marriage has been shaken to and fro in every side. But if you try to reflect or flashback on the foundation, and then you try to look at how we are the people who are before you conduct their marriages or families. It's like a time came and we inherited. And like when you flash back, you hear stories. The, my grand, grand, great, those great, great, grand parents. The generation in which we operate cannot, cannot honor marriage as honorable as it is. The reason we've had a lot of saga in the reason we have had a lot of saga in every aspect of marriage. Someone comes up and says, that when uh, my wife let her go. When let, her her go. let her go. After, after all, there are very, very many of them I can choose. Others drink. When the other one uh, is already in the house, so they only keep on adding on. But sometimes we look at what has happened. But we don't have look them. at the foundation. Mm -hmm. What really happened in, during our forefathers? If you try to examine in this whole conference, thing, we could only bow down. I mean, we could only humble down. 
And we say, God, may you have mercy to our grant. May you have mercy upon us. May you forgive us. We want to begin a new, a new chapter according to your word. Hallelujah. Amen. The Bible was saying that in all things, in all things, we are founded on a wrong foundation. And the Bible says that he will always pay the iniquity of the, to the, iniquity of the first generation, the second generation, the third generation, and the fourth generation. Amen. Now, you and I who have come in this conference, we are privileged, we are blessed that we can uh, touch back or reflect wherever we started our relationships and so that you can get a clear picture the, the, the right standing before the Lord. Because the things of the great forefathers, they tend to follow us in, in other words, they are generational. They want to make sure that we fail like they failed. These days when you ask, uh, as the speaker was saying, how is the family? How is the, the, the relationship, the profile relationship between a man and a wife? Because they have a peace just for a week. One week, they are peaceful. The next week, one month, they are, they, they are, they are at peace. But after one month, there are a lot of regrets. Amen. What is the problem? I wish I knew. We are now looking, looking at the foundation. The person whom you walk around and you even declare that one is the one I no chose. Man, I know. This is my sweetheart. And if you say, but how does really a nasty word come out of them? When, when and they say, I brought a misfortune, a curse, rather. Uh, uh. And even the woman will say, There is one who loved me before this guy. But I did a very big mistake to, to be taken by this arrogant man. Anyway, before we, we do, it is. Their foundation. As you, 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 as Okay, let them end you. But now, what do you mean? Chicho tegeza by end you a ring. Ah, to a kena muchachi. As you know, they said in church. Never to take, never to, never to, never to save, never to take a kempeta. They, they, they tied a knot. They so, katugome. Nkusivida hao. So, it has end you a. Bansivida hao. But now, what do you mean? So if you are if you endure, what what do you mean? A guru wa ori ni ruta wa. Where is the heaven with just enduring with something? But blessed be the name of the Lord. Because he has brought his servants, right? To take us back to the roots. See what went bazak, what went wrong somewhere. On which foundation did we found our relationships, our families. Our our that, is, that one will give us a way of how to handle the matter, to deal with the roots. 
in Jesus. And there is a portion of scripture. It says that our forefathers sinned. They sinned. It's like they sold us. But they are not. They are not there. They don't exist. But whatever they did, we bear their iniquity. Who knows where that scripture is? Our forefathers seen it and they are not, but we bear their iniquity. It is Lamentations, chapter number 5, verse 7. Somebody give, let us clap him. Oh my we we clap him. You know, many many times, I, many a time, Pastor is acquainted to asking questions. And I always want to check. Do you, have, you we made, have we made the Bible our friend? Do we read it? Anyway? So I want to, if you have a, 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 a version or even English, you can read for us that portion of scripture. Lamentations chapter number 5, verse 7. National version. Oh no. <laughs> Who has Luganda version? Mokama, mm. <laughs> praise the name of the Lord. How they transgressed, how they sinned. We left the godly foundation. And they took us to another foundation. The, 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 the reason the Bible is saying that they did that. But they are known, they don't know how to use it. But whatsoever they did, we have borne their iniquity. We, but now we are, we are, we are, if we are, we are a goodly sinner, and someone who is so keen to understand whatever message that we have been uh, uh, listening to. What do you gain in any way? Some people, the Bible says, when they, they hear the word of God, they, they, they try to scrutinize it, they try to examine it. As they examine themselves, why do they do it? Why? Because the word has come to your way to save them to transform their destiny and even to tap into the goodness of the Lord. But the church of today is so good to congregate and we become good listeners. But we don't become the people who are doers of the word. When the word comes, the Bible says in Hebrews chapter number 4, verse 12. The Bible says the word of God is living and active. You never know the situation I have walked in for quite a long time and even the one that you have walked through all that time because what I know and what you indeed know is you never knew and I also never knew that such a ministry would be manifested in our lives. But God in heaven, because it's the God of seasons. He, 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 he wants us to perhaps uh, go to hell. Uh, uh, in other words, not someone to have an excuse 
Okay, I wish I had the opportunity. God is like he's trying to say now and the 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 and the now they have known their situation I have spoken into India life I have spoken about what brought them about their captivity and bondage things that have really confiscated their families and made them in pieces now, no. he awaits to see who, who has heard and who is activating and putting in the, the word of God in action. He said his word is living and active. It cuts asunder sharper than the two-edged sword. Sharper than the two-edged sword. No! What does that mean? It means that when you pay attention, when I open up my heart, that I have come to listen unto him, it is very easy for me to understand my situation, for me to understand what has been a trap and a problem unto me. And I will raise up and say, God, here I am. I have been bound. I have been troubled. I had even forsaken the right way. And I was like a becoming a religious person. Very, very sad. You walk through the truth. And God gives you an opportunity. The opportunity of the Holy Spirit. But he, also gives you, he gives you the mind. The brain, I mean the understanding. And I have failed to even do something about my, my, my situation. God has manifested. It is now up to you and I after the, the four day conference and you get hold of your books and say now ah, the, the conference, conference let us wait for another conference maybe next year. <laughs> My God. After two or three consecutive weeks, you meet with someone outside there. And say, you know what? I, I didn't make it to the conference. But you know what? They taught what, what they teach about. And could you do you know the story that you, some of us will tell you? That woman. That woman. That woman. That woman. That woman. I've never seen a woman spoke for nine hours. She spoke. That she preached. Oh, she preached. What, what, what a preacher she was. Anyway, she preached, but what was the content that you went back home? A package. It all ended in the church or wherever the conference was. In heaven, they have already recorded. That on the on, I mean, on, 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 on 11th of you know, August, 12th, 13th, 14th, I sent an angelic presence. So I don't know whether in heaven I will have some time to answer some questions as expected. I may say, but God, I think in the present, I'll try to try to escape. I had and I was waiting for the second chance to get the boldness to go. <laughs> that one will not be workable. But today, whatsoever we've had, let's be doers. Bible says in the book of Psalms that I heard your word and I, wow. I hid it right in my heart. Do you have a, a store for the word of God inside of your life? The word of God will not make you develop a bald head. 
about. Yes. But the word of God it comes your way for you and me to become stronger. And also to be someone who can judge the right and the and the wrong thing. And the intention of God is to help me and listen to his word so that I can become a doer of the word of God. Come on, you must I want to finish up by saying Pastor Abbe has something that he wants to throw into our spirit as we wait for our, our, our lunch and even as we prepare to go to the open air crusade but I want us to begin to look at that foundation The Bible says but that our forefathers made us enter into things but they are known, they are no longer existing but we are paying for what they saw. So if we are paying for what they did the reason the servants of God are right here we can vindicate our souls according to the word of God. The Lord has spoken that he will pay it right for the first generation and up to the first generation. So for you as you keep on, you know, the people who keep saying, that for me I did that way. I did that way. That's how I grew. Okay. That's how I grew. That is my character. Uh, <laughs> if you say that is your personality, yes, you you grew. Grew. Okay. Then what did Jesus come to do? You say that is your nature. That's how God uh, made you. What is your ancestor spirits? Uh, other people is because there are certain generational of which they have inherited and they, and they, and they also give it them a chair. So they say that is my character. That is how I am. But now today we have been given an opportunity. Today our spiritual eyes to get open. So that we can turn around and fight against whatever has been prevailing against our life. As you clap your hands, I want you to allow me to welcome Pastor Abel. It is something that he wants to, to pass across. Amen. Yeah, that's <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Uh, pastor, thank you very much. May God bless you. We call him Muzei Wakazi. Hallelujah. Amen. He started on us before we developed a gray hair. In in our we still love you. We love you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. May God bless you for those deliberations. Mommy, thank you for taking care of that, uh, that, that man. Amen. Amen. All the ohms, the energy, the strength. Yeah. He, he can speak because of you. Amen. Amen. Do you still love that couple? We are on family, family tree. Okay. We are on marriage, marriage issue. The first church. Is, is he an example unto us? Living episode? A living letter. 
Sometimes they, they challenge us in this place. I gave them a chance to say something here. You would see. Praise the Lord. So, but they, they have made us love marriage. We are not enduring, enjoying it rather. Amen. Yeah. Uh, we bless the Lord for that. For the minister that he, he really gave us that. But let's go to Butaleja. 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 When I look at the price that has been paid for Butaleja, whatever the coordinate has been going through here, these things started a long time ago. We didn't know how the outlook. But we are here going to sleep at 1 a.m. in the morning or in the night. Like he didn't even, I was so pitiful. He had a lot of accompli accomplish rather. Sister Jan, may God bless you so much. Thank you very much. But we are seeing the we are seeing the, we are seeing the output of the, that is the message that we are hearing. This is the message that God wants us to take. I, I might forget uh, to appreciate our, our, our dear uh, servants, ministers. We've never seen you before. You've never seen us before. But we have seen the love that you have for us. And we give God the glory. We are looking at uh, the input in the form of time, resources, to come to Butaleja. For my at least I, I, had, I had some kind of, uh, you know, for those machines, to, they came all the way from Gulu. Uh -uh. No, no, before, no, you clap, before you clap, before you clap, please. All the way from Gulu to this place. I asked you to At what time did you leave uh, Gulu? I asked you that they, they left Gulu at around 7.30 a.m. in the morning. They, they reached it at 10 p.m. Can you imagine they were all so exhausted? So exhausted. You said, now looking for what? But God was seeking for someone right here. <laughs> so if you leave this place and like they ask you a question, what did God speak in the conference? And you say those men came with machines, powerful machines that we have never seen before. They came with huge vehicles, heavy trucks. Hallelujah. Amen. So, so, the first minister, may God bless you mightly. Amen. Uh, there is yet another minister who came in. Uh, and that visitor also entered. But we want to know each and every other visitor who has, who has come in your blessing to us. You know, for us, when we get uh, someone who, has, who chooses to love us, us, we love them so much. To come and seek for us in Butaleja. So I want to beseech. I don't know whether... Whether I would follow the protocol or the, the, the no protocol with things of God or some other person who will work no with God. But anyway, with so all the humility, we come to and say hello to set this congregation. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise God. Uh, while I was introducing earlier, I said that we had uh, we were three, we team of three who were coming. And I introduced myself and the prophet. Then I said the spiritual father was also coming soon. 
kakati. So at this very moment, as a daughter, I want to welcome my spiritual, my spiritual father. I give God all the glory that caused me to meet my father. Um, and I would, uh, the story is long. But if you have been blessed because of my teaching and preaching, the fruit uh, does not fall far away from the It does not fall far away from the, the tree. Plant, so the tree. So so let, 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 let us pray. Show for father welcome. says something. Engalo ziba zamo kama. Praise the Lord. The Lord is good. And all the time, we are overjoyed to be in a butaleja. I last came to butaleja some years ago. We had come to pray. We were Pastor Fred and his family. And uh, Pastor, Pastor Mudanyi. The Mudanyi is somewhere there. Uh, Pastor Mudanyi, all those ends. I think you know him. He's actually, even today, I met him in Jinja. I when we I met with him today in Jinja that was coming. I am so amazed with how God does his things. I said, I'm going to your place. He said, but who has sent you there? He asked. I said, the owner of heaven and the earth <laughs> has sent Amen. Amen. Uh, I bless God for the servants of God who are going to be with us in these uh, days. And God is going to restore us to the foundations. God wants to restore us to the foundations. When the foundations are destroyed, <laughs> what can the righteous do? Hallelujah. Amen. When you, uh, in the Bible, please, I always introduce myself in the scriptures. So I just want us to read just one portion of scripture. Then, babu, then, then I speak one, two, three words and we get done. I always want to, to prioritize the word of God. So that the people don't uh, remember me, but they remember the word of God. In the book of Ezra, uh, chapter number uh, two. Chapter 2 and verse 59. Chapter 2. Ezra chapter 2 and verse 59. Ezra chapter 2 and verse 59. Ezra sura ya kuvili. Ulunyiri watano mumu enda. Ulu watu se watu sumele muluganda. Someone with a, a Bible there. You read for us. Avande. Avan sumele muluzumu. Oh, I read in the English and then the Uganda people follow suit. Ezra 2. Kale kan sumele muluzumu. So let me read in it. Amina. Tano Mwenda. Amen. 
Alwen kaga mama sambu. Sixty seven. Vakuwe kaga mwe bili. From six. Paka alwen kaga mwe sato. Hmm. 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 Amen. The Bible has told us these they could not identify their father's house. And their genealogy where they, whether they were born of Israel. They could not find their listing in the bloodline, in the lineage. They were excluded from the priesthood. Uh, Brethren, I want to do something that I'm going to share with you. In the all the years that I've been doing the deliverance ministry, and the years that I've taken seeing people have confessed Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. But what they, what they confess and what they hear, they are, they are parallel. They speak about a powerful God who is more than able, but at home they are different. They say, Almighty God, the Creator, our Heavenly the one who could us so mighty, but they cannot pay for school fees for their children. When their children go crazy, they, there is no uh, marriage at all. Families are not standing. Even, even whatever they get, they get it out of a real, real sweat. And even they told their children mama, that mommy, daddy, if that is your God, I no longer have a desire for that God. God. You have, we have suffered with your God. Hallelujah. Amen. I was also the same way for over 10 years born again ministering but what I speak and what I am could not uh, I told people God is more than an almighty God but I could not buy a pair of shoes the God I had is almighty God one day I went for prayer after 20 years uh, 20 days of when, prayer and fasting is when I got this ministry I'm doing right now. The Lord asked me a question. And said, my, my son, you said God is mighty. Yes, you are mighty. I thought you were mighty. But I, why? That power is not manifested. I didn't know. I said, I said the problem is one. Who is your father? I said, my father is in heaven. I said, no. What is disturbing you is one. It is your father's house. So come out of that kind of What is in your father's house? What is your father's house? Those who had taught me before, they told me now that you are born again, anything pertaining with your lineage, with your Please don't. Your father and your mother, those ones are not evil. People. Those people are bad, evil. There is nothing that you need from them. So I walked that, that night. But when God was setting me free, he told me, go back to your father's house. Discover what was done. And he sought them out. You will deliver yourself and deliver your brethren and your children is a children. Because when I'm to seek for someone, when I'm seeking someone, and I seek someone through their house. When God is seeking for you, he will get you from your father's house. 
The Bible says these people, they didn't discover where they belong. They could not identify their father's house. We look down if we go back to our father's houses, we seek for two things. One, what good things did they need? What are the good things I need to redeem in my father's house? Hallelujah. Amen. Secondly, what are the evil I need to remove? Hello? What are the what are the good things in my father's house? And what are the those things that I see in my father's house. I would not want them to go to my children. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Even as we come uh, right even this evening, before we come to tomorrow, I want you to, in your mindset, in your mind, begin to have a walk. You are seated physically, but now you begin to move in or, spiritually. Reach your father's house right now. What do you see? Have you, have you arrived? Have you arrived at your father's house? They have well have they welcomed you? How are they? How are they anyway? Uh, how are they siblings? How are those elders? How where is the, where are the children of my father's where house? Where are the sons? Where are the sons of my father's house? Of my father's house. Ask your neighbor. What happened? What was your fate? What happened? Ask them. Okay. The, the, the children of the fruit of your womb. Where are they? The children of your mother's womb. Where are they? Who are they? What are they? Hallelujah. Amen. So we, uh, we, 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 we've come back. We come back. We, 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 when you arrived at your father's house, what do you see anyway? Do you see a God or you, you see a blessing? You see marriage? Or you see people uh, many years at home without getting married? What are you seeing in your father's house? When you come and sit together as the father's house, what do you see? What do you see? What scattered them anyway? What smote them? What hit them? What suppresses whoever has gotten a blessing. What has hindered them from, from building houses? What hindered them from building in your father's house? Can it, pardon? Can it permit you to build the church? Can it permit you anyway to build the church? Hallelujah. Amen. You who is seated right Mama here, and Ma, uh, daddy and mommy, wherever you are seated right now, you want to you collect your children together, those who came from your womb, and look at them individually, ask a question, my children, what happened? Even the children ask, yeah, are you the one who, who, who begat us? What, from what did you begat us? Or beget us, rather. From what did Hallelujah. you beget us? <laughs> yes, I am born again. I am a minister of God. I pray for people. Whoever I pray for and is delivered just leaves my church. That is how I wait for you. Whoever I could pray for. Whoever is healed just goes and identifies with Whoever is blessed does not come back. 
And yet I, I have de, 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 de gotten them. I pray for them. Whoever would pray for does not come back. Hallelujah. Amen. I could pray for people. And the Lord asked me, what is in your father's house? So he took me right to my father's house. Tomorrow I will get give you, share with him my testimony, personal testimony. In my father's house, I was, uh, I was produced together with a serpent. My mother tells me that he produced, he produced, he produced me. The past three months could not touch me or any person to come near me. Because that, is kind of, that snake kind of python entered into the, the, the house and he surrounded the baby for three consecutive months. The no eating and he was not dying. Can you imagine? Three the first three consecutive Mama months. Mommy said he could not breast, breastfeed me and never breastfed me. I was in the house with the, with the python. My father left the home. Can you imagine you were such a kind of atmosphere? My dad had to leave. Left the wife with the timber right there, with the python. And the people in the community could not branch by our house. They could see that woman produced a child with the python. And they could come and hear from the, from the house and, and the python was there. Three consecutive months. After three months, it went and it could come and visit me. Now I get born again. Those who preach to me never told me how can I come out from those evil covenants as I confess salvation that in my father's house in the spiritual realm the serpent was chosen and it had a hold on my life. So I was desiring to teach every born again how did I come out of that saga and become what I am? How did I come out of that? To, to, to every month I go to very many nations. They come in different nations. And that thing of my father's house. Because I was already born again. But I could not marry. The last time I tried to marry. After introduction. After a few days to the wedding day. I dreamed a dream. And the following morning he was developing a headache. Had headache. And died that, that day. Just a few days to the wedding day. And it was not the first person. Many other people, whoever would love me, you would die. Because they had married me to a witch when I was just one day. So when I became born again, and when I tried to fall in love with you, if you don't become mad, you get an accident, or you die. But I was born again. I decided, let me be an unmarried pastor. And anything with, anything with marriage, what was disturbing was my father's house. It was, it was in my father's house. Those who knew it knew it. But they said this is our secret. It eats to the children away, makes them crazy. Those who are married don't produce. Those who produce, they produce a group of children. Every house in my father's house. There was someone with a reproach. And they could not remove, come out of it themselves. They could say, We tried our left base and we failed. We have moved and we are tired. Exhausted. So God saved me. To take me back to my father's house. So that I can set them free. So that our blessing comes back. 
That's what God wants to do. Don't just hide yourself. And you say, let me try to run away from Butaleja. Let me go to London. You will may come barefoot. Because it will go before you. You can go to London. You can go to London. They, by the time they bring you here, you have no clothes. And you think you thought you ran out, out from it. Now you, you are in the church. You think you are, when you are in the church. After 40 days of prayer and fasting, it comes in the night and uses you like a, You don't know how to have a throat over your life. How can you come out of it? How can my father's house be set free? Let me speak this one. I will sum up. Praise the name of if you try to answer yourself in your father's house, there are some signs and symptoms that there was a blessing. Okay? There are some signs, some signals. First, the houses, the mansions they built. You had the land, the land. Even the children were bright. There is somewhere where it reached. Something came and demanded it. And it began now. to consume it, all the wealth. Era all the if you look in your father's house, there are signals that show that you can be better people than what you are now. But something came, went wrong. That kills people. That makes children crazy. That impoverishes people. And even those who are born again and also poor. And there is no difference. A born again and the one who is not. And as we go back home, in your father's house, it, it, it is strong as you the same. Ask your neighbor. What is scattering you? What did they bring? What is in the courtyard? What is demanding? Where is the case? In my father's house. Hallelujah. Amen. After being set free, I stopped praying for people. Whoever wants to be set free, I tell them, let's go to your place. Let's go where you are. Let's go to your father's house. Pastor, pray for me. Uh, no, 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 no. Here in church, you have another face. Some of you, when you are in Kampala, Eh? Whoever speaks English, you think they are better. You first go where they are born. And you see what you are dealing with. They come in the church. And they make a little makeup. They make a hairstyle. A lot of retouches and good clothes. And you say very nice figure. And even you say, I wish he managed my son. But has something following. It is called whoever loves is how we become poor. And you, you make your daughter enter into something. You, and even it produces children. You say, what entered into our father's house? When we looked at the hairstyle, others are in the church and they speak in tongues and they are in English tongues and you think they are okay. But in, in the night, they are oppressed spiritually. Something drains their blood. So you first go back home and some of them when they are told them, let's go to your father's house. Pastor, pastor just pray for me from here. You know our home. You know what? Let us first of all rectify it. I, said, I will not pray for you. Let us go to Butaleja. I drive my car, come. I have been the whole of Uganda almost. And even in different nations. Tell people, I will not pray for you from church. Let's go to your place. In the city where you are born. In the village where you are born. Let's go and speak to the people. Yes, most of you, when we go there, Someone, here is very good. In the church, is a good prayer. But when it round down there, someone whispers to you and said, you know what? Those people you are praying. Yeah, they ate a lot. They cannibals. They became cannibals. Those people are cannibalists. But you also see it. 
But when you marry him, you will have married even the demonic activity. And no one cast it away. And the pastor will not even tell how to do this. And you produce a children in a demonic activity. Every child gnashes the truth. Every child is a wizard. Amen. One day they called me. A brother would pray with me. As, as a family, they would pray. They love God so much. They rang to me. They had, they had sent their daughter for school fees in Gayaza. And it was true, they had it to tell her. expelled her. Do you know what had made the He he wanted to eat the fruit. When he wakes in the night, he says, I want to, I want to meat, I want to meat. He sees a very nice kind of meat. You know? say, Musumba. We are born again. We pray to God. We have never been wizards and wizards. Our own daughter. Why does he want to eat people's flesh? He said, let us go back to Omusinji. To we, 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 we seek to in your father's house. It is not your child who wants the flesh, but Omusinji. There is someone who wants the meat. In your forefathers, there are people who use to eat the flesh. Let us deal with that one. From that lineage, your children will be okay. Hallelujah. Amen. You people, you are the one who asked me to talk. Never refuse. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you come, you tell the preacher, come and greet the people. <laughs> when they get the microphone, they will not stop talking. James Kawaria. James Kawaria is his name. The Lugala. From Lifeway Church of Christ. Lifeway Church of Christ. God has blessed us. He's a married man. I came together with his wife. He's just having some rest. Tomorrow we shall go to move. We're going to testify. Personal testimony. How did God deliver me? What, 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 which impact did the python? How did I become a witch doctor at three years? Three years, a witch doctor. I was a witch. At three years, seven years, I was training the witches and wizards. At uh, seven years, a trainer, a mentor, mentor. Those chores, I, they could fear. God gave me the grace when after setting to, to set people from, from a witch, witchcraft. Especially the household witchcraft. And even demonic activities. So as tomorrow as we shall be studying, after here, we shall enter into prayer. After prayer, we shall come back to our father's house. There hidden there, so hidden. One by then, we begin to approach them. After removing them, marriage is going to be alright. Poverty and marriage are parallel. They are not compatible. Poverty and marriage they will never be friends. However much you love your wife, there is a way poverty can drain even the last ounce of, of love. However much the man loves you, the, the, the love of a poor man. So there is something which makes. So what makes you poor? It will never make a marriage stand. Have you ever seen a situation where a man comes without any money in the pocket? 
Have you ever come back and there's no man in the Bible? That day, you want to choose this and the other. You want to make yourself sweet. The person who with money in the pocket will never be the wife. Because there is money in the pocket. But if there's no money, when your wife answers you, says, maybe it's because, because I'm poor. And you kick. The person with money has known. Just go and buy. Go and buy the shoe. Stop quarreling. And that is how. <laughs> Are you get what I'm saying? Hey. If he is so tensed up, you just get his money. Go and buy. But if you don't have money, when she quarrels, you quarrel. The one who overcomes has a testimony. Because that is it. Amen. And also want the man. And he's quarreling. Uh, because he was, was one who, and you cannot buy a man. And what he's saying is true. He said, which kind of man are you? Now, you are fellow men buy meat for you, buy silver fish. And so this woman is just playing on the head. The truth of the matter is that the woman is right. She might tell the children. Now, the beans have become beans. And you are hearing from the bedroom. And you are pretending Hello? as if you are on the phone. But you have heard what the woman has said. But what causes that? What makes you poor? Is what will break your mind. And when you see when God blesses you, a man who was quarrelsome will stop quarrelling. The woman who was saying, to me, go back to my home. Now, now which kind, which, what wife, which woman can? Can? If she wants, I will buy another vehicle. And she will sit and we talk, communicate. So what he wants to take away my wife, he will hit my blessing. You get that? It will hit my blessing. Whatever wants my wife to, to elope or to go out from marriage. Amen. So let us remove it. What impoverished your family? Who used to have money? The other thing of the family tree. And arose. And if married four women. And when you marry such kind of, of you also get the same. Which comes out of my life. God is going to bless us. Hallelujah. Somebody say amen. So this week, God is going to set you free from here. Even at the crusade, go back home today and bring more people in the crusade. Even tomorrow. At 9 a.m. when I have started, come with your brothers and sisters. Come with your siblings. Come with the people in your father's house. Whether they are born again or they are known. Ring to them. Tell them, come. We are tired. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. You tell them we are tired of that kind of saga. This thing. He brought it in our father's house. But it has really made us suffer. Troubled us. Let us go into the conference. Pastor to help us come out of it. There is a certain beast in your father's house. It comes in the form of dreams. There is a certain serpent. A certain woman. Who manifests in a dream. He is a perpetual coming every time. When you come, bring or take it away. Through this kind of no, sessions and prayer. And I would, I would like a wife and a, and a, my husband no, and, a wife no, and with their children, no, with your brothers no, and sisters. Come and say, Pastor, no, as we have seen no, here, no, this no, is the house of so no, and And we see how, just how it is. No, and we pray no, with no, us. No, no, what is following us in no, this? No, what is impoverishing no, us? No, what is making us crazy? No, God will reveal it no, unto no, us. I said, God, reveal it. Say, oh my God. Whatever was hidden in these two days, my father's house was from captivity delivered. We see a blessing. Let your name be baby glorified. Somebody give God a mighty hand of praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Tomorrow, we shall go deeper, deeper, house to house, as we seek for the things.
And then you, you reivindicate of your parents house, and you are brothers. And even the children call them. Whether they are in Mbale or wherever they are. You would ring unto them. Come, God is going to do something. Hallelujah. It's a package from the Lord. And when time comes, we shall pray for you. Hallelujah. Amen. We shall pray for you. We shall be delivered. God is set me free. God set me free. And he did him wonderful. And he is still doing. I have a desire. Every born again. To test the goodness of the Lord. I have that zeal. Whenever I move with other ministers. I say God. I was like that. Let my fellow servants. Know what I knew. What has made me reach this level. The reason we are here. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm not going to speak this and the other. Or what I do, my, my name. James Kawalia is the, his name. Tomorrow, you know other this personal testimony. Margaret, Margaret is my daughter with all others. Sorry. Okay. Jan is my grand. Uh, God has given us grandchildren. But he is a, a, a child of my child. And when I said we are going to Butaleja, let us go to your father's house. I asked. No, pray. So that you can become the first president. Hey! Amen. Amen. Hey, well the, the next president has to come from Butaleja. Hey, Why not? I believe that. I do believe. You don't believe? Jani and Fuka president. Jani might become a president. Yeah, the moment we go back. All, all these ones. I first took them back home. I'm not going to pray for you from a church. General prayer, don't you take me to your place. Where am I going to sleep? I'm going to sleep. We eat what you, what you are eating. I also experience what you are eating. Then I will see what I, uh, how to fight. Wherever you go, we fight and wrestle with them. But by the time we, we come back, when they have gone, all my children, God has blessed them. There is no one who is poor. There is no one without a father. There is no one to struggle with. Because all those one, one, we say we go back. We go and we pray for them. Why have they cast fire at you from the job? Let us go to your father. Let us go and we tell the Lord what Let us go to pray for them. With your father. Let us go and pray for them. Maybe whatever is struggling. There is a certain person who is not set free. When a person is set free, you will not suffer. I pray for you. May God do gracious things. I pray for you. Not to miss this divine visitation. Hallelujah. Amen. And in your father's house. It's a pastor, there's something I don't understand in my father's house. There, there is this kind of there is, there is certain altar that they stage. But I don't know what I can do against it. There is certain company that I entered without knowing. There is something, that, there is something that, that made me marry. I married a certain thing I don't understand. Am I speaking to someone? I have something to speak to someone. Say, Lord Jesus. May God bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, the servant of God has spoken. And he, uh, do you still like, want lunch? I feel I don't want lunch anymore. <laughs> I feel I should fast immediately. <laughs> Hallelujah. Anyway. Amen. And the same I, I have many unanswered questions. I asked myself, was a brother to the serpent? And really, how was it? Yes. Amen. I asked myself, how many loved him and loved as he was still bound? Are you also asking yourself? Are you also having something disturbing you? 
Or oh, how many died? For you who just find there someone and just begin loving. You look for them, you search for them. We will be ready to bury you. first be the one who will be How many died? Because of the bondage in the world. Whoever you see is glittering, then you begin salvating. He he had him saying that he went to Gayaza to pray for someone. Hallelujah. He didn't pray for Gayaza. Oh, <laughs> Some people will say Gayaza is where Pastor no. lives. Ye, but we thank God. Because because, uh, because I have understood why they have come. If we play, the Lord shall punish you. Because God has shown us how deep He has loved us. Whoever He prays for, that's what? Gets delivered. Gets out of poverty. Hallelujah. Amen. So, we thank God. Because in Butareja, whatever he has said about, whatever he has talked about is here in our land. That's why churches have people disturbing pastors. Problems at home. Even you, save, <laughs> even you who is saved, you behave like the sorcerers. You see the born again, but the drunkard is, is well behaved than the, the born again. Tomorrow others will come at noon time when lunch is about to begin. You come at the time you, you wish. But for people go when lunch is about. <laughs> so abategede. To those who have understood, to come very early and you begin in the city. Tell her God, allocate me in your kingdom. There are things I'm tired of. Tell her God, I also want to open fridges this side, this side and this, the other side. But you, <laughs> you'll be there when you don't know how a fridge looks like. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. As the Lord has come, He has finished. Praise the name of the Lord. We shall be okay. Everything shall be okay. Tomorrow is going to narrate everything about him. About if you have some appointments like I'm preparing my chicken, my farm, you, you leave those programs and come early. And you be delivered. Go out of the key of the chicken which die every time. So, out of the key of the chicken which die every time. So, lunch is there. There are some people who are already annoyed that we might not get lunch. But for you who has become more strong, you can get, get lunch. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So, uh, we still appreciate Sister Jan. Jan. 
we just to wave to we these still people. extend our thanks to, to you that thank you very much hallelujah just to wave to us uh, thank you i had a bit on jan she almost collapsed yesterday she, she at she had a lot around her, a lot. And I was saying, why don't you have sit down and get some breakfast? And pastor, you know, let me first complete this. Let me, pastor, uh, let me sort out this. But now I know the burden she had. I now understand the burden she had. She asked us one day in a meeting, pastor's meeting. Because we were saying, you know, there's a principality. You know, this principality is fighting this. Island. And she asked us, that, uh, said, you mean this principality is still up there? Yes. Yatuuza. 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 Hey, that we still have some prosperities of Today, the prosperity is coming down. Hallelujah. So, Pastor Kawaria, Pastor we are grateful. Thank you. May God bless you. Thank you in the way you have greeted us. So, together, Kuria. So we are going to have our we lunch. Lo kuria. After lunch, we are going at the other ground. We are going at the other ground. We are going at the ground. We are going at the other ground. We are going at the other We even have our stay ground. We are going at the other ground. We are going at the other ground. We are going at the other ground. Hallelujah. We are going at the other ground. Thank you for coming. We are going at the other Pastors, raise up their hands. All pastors who are here. Thank you for coming. All people, thank you for coming. Hallelujah. Amen. Our Muzei, may God bless you so Amen. much. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, we pray.